no surprise, we are down again, boys. So that tree there. Amazed it survived. I think it survived. It hit this top branch. It was supposed to be following behind me up through here. It did all the way from down there, right down there. Came all the way up. And then for some reason, it got to here and it shot up over there. I was like, oh no. Hit that. Hit the edge of these branches here. And that's the result. It nosedived properly, smashed into the ground. Wow. I think it actually has survived. I'm going to give up now, though, and um, go and do something different. Give up on the old drone shots, I think. Man, oh man. I mean, it, it's tough, but it spits and hits the ground over and over again. Oh, my God. Morning, everybody. It is a Monday. This week's vlog isn't up at 8am because I've still got to go back, put a URL in because it uploaded like by three o'clock in the morning or something stupid. So, yeah, off to work now. It's only seven past eight, something like that. Off to work, be there in about 10 minutes. <sighs> and I can add that in there. No. Wow. So I'll grab the thumbnail, I'll add some light, and then we're good to go for another exciting day. Gone for uh, Yorkshire. Only this morning, might go for a bit of Scottish, a bit later on, Scottish blend. There's no PG left, so we're playing off between those two at the moment. Very nice. I was actually on the phone, so sadly I didn't quite get the storage of goods going in. So what have we got? Morning, first of all. Morning. morning. Monday morning, another exciting week. And oh, hey, yeah. Good thing is though. Yeah. You notice I got you one of them, but yeah. so you can do that. So this oh. this is the stage. Oh. Okay. So this is for later on. Yeah. Today. Later on today. It, no, tomorrow. This is for tomorrow. Tomorrow's tomorrow. Th this is for today. So what you're saying is we could have got five drawers. Yeah. One for each day. Yeah. Exactly. Plus another draw for the, the actual work stuff. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, guys. It is a Monday, and that means only one thing. It's tea time. And today we're going with the Yorkshire tea. Apparently you need two minutes to let it marinate, and then you get the full flavor of the tea. So uh, that's, that's what I'm doing, using my watch to count the seconds. So we get to two minutes. Ian. From the Scottish form of John, it's gifted with both intelligence and good sense of humour. Adaptable. Got a load of uh, very thin lights, so they don't eat into the room space too much. So they're about so thick, and uh, got nine of them. They've arrived, which is good. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, Ian had an accident with his drone, so now it's my turn to actually fix the drone with installing new propellers. So here you can see the damage to the propeller, so a part of it it's missing. So it is pretty straightforward, you push down the old propeller and twist it and then it just comes out and then you install the new propeller the same way. But you need to be careful because you have blue and, and grey uh, propellers, so you need to have the right one, so this is a grey one and this is a grey one as well. There we go, this is how you change the propeller of the Scalio 2 drone. That's all good. So there we go, done de Leon. Get that. Nice. So that's plasterboard. Then it's got that board over the top, then another lot of plasterboard over the top of that. A bit of sound deadening. So I am back at the garage, drinking a nice cup of tea. It's a big cup of tea as well. I've got a tape measure. I've got a pen a level and a Rolson saw, well, plasterboard saw to be exact. And I've got a load of those bad boys ready to go. So I put the back boxes in. This is what it would look like it's finished. That's what it looks like now. Got to punch a hole for the wires to come through and then these slot into the dry lining board. But I wanted some Wi-Fi whilst I was here so I could still get messages and phone calls and stuff. Got the Google. Wi-Fi access point out. Guess what? 
it is not compatible with their previous versions. You can't even, I thought that's okay, because what I'll do then is I'll set it up as a standalone network. Can't even do that. So I've put it all back away after wasting some time and as I send it back to them and then try and find someone that's selling, because they don't sell it anymore, uh, an access point for that mesh network. Because I'm a bit loathed, even more loathed now that it's not compatible, to go and replace the entire network, which I think was 350 quid or something to buy a year ago, two years ago at the most. Not doing that. Need to make it work with what I've got and try and get an access point connected to that or just get a standard access point. I'm only stuck with this one because I know they perform really well. So if you guys got any ideas for this, comment below and I might go some other route if not. If I can get the old style, old, it's not even that old, the old style ones, which I was going to originally use, then I'll use that. But if not, any ideas for access points which are high speed, reliable connections. We have received another broken wheel. So can you guess what model it is? a monster 2400 so now i will have a look at it because it doesn't turn on um, and then see what the problem could be right there we go so she's in first one done the customer had a fall and you can see the damage so this is oh wow okay he's barely holding on yeah this is pretty much busted and then here completely broken and again this had fallen off wow this was a massive massive fall and even here I don't know if you can see it's chipped as well wow uh, there we go we got that one that one that one and that one done that which is good and that's all double sockets, there's nothing behind here, so it's in that corner, there, and basically by the door, so it's just pretty good, sort of. The monster is going to be a lot of work because we need to replace the chassis because it's broken and also the the power button the cable is snapped so it needs a new power button also need to check some of the other cables because they looked pinched the machine does power on which is one good thing but i also need to assess if the batteries are fine another good thing is that the monster actually takes a charge so now i've put it to charge and then after it's fully charged, I will check the voltage on the batteries just to see if, if everything is okay. And while the monster is on charge, I better go and clean my mess from Friday because I didn't have any time to actually put the stuff away because I had to edit the vlog. But now I have a bit more time and then I can, uh, I can put everything back in its right place. The monster is still charging and that's why I'm actually doing some video editing for the paintball side of things. So I'm just going through all the footage that we recorded with Mike uh, and then just cutting cutting that to look nice and neat and then putting all overlays of all the different shooting that we did a couple of weeks ago and hopefully we can have I think maybe seven or eight videos from two days of shooting which is actually a lot of work to like edit everything together um so yeah i'll be i'll be busy with video editing for a very long time well i've just come back into the office got a wheel which has returned faulty wheel so it was an in motion uh v11 which the motor was motor was placed twice three times i think and customer returned it just swapping out for another wheel which is okay with us so we we said that's fair enough yeah i don't want you to swap it any more times than that seems enough Let's let's do this. Uh, they sent it in from Denmark, and UPS are trying to charge us. Well, not UPS as such, but Customs 
an exercise of trying to charge us £480 for its uh, arrival here in the UK. Which is wrong, because there's no invoice produced, because we haven't purchased anything and importing it. It's zero, so it should be zero. Just great. So that needs sorting out now as well. No way we're paying 480 quid to have a warranty return, which is obviously we've lost out big style on that um, anyway. So that's another fight, probably for tomorrow. Not today, I don't think. I've also got a sample set sent in for rubber rounds that we are having made up. So they are just a sample set of balls, basically, and it's just rubber. That's all it is, rubber balls, but they have to make a mold up, especially like that. This is the paintball side. Uh, these are just samples, though, the closest they can get to the sizes we want, the calibers we want. And once we have a little look at them, we can say, yeah, that material is absolutely fine. And then we go ahead and make loads of them. I think we've ordered 250,000 of them. So quite a few years supply, but you have to do it in that if you want to um, bulk buy, essentially. You need to go in those sort of volumes, some little balls, not expensive. Well, they are expensive if you buy that many, but yeah, you get the drift. And it's just finished. 10 hours and it's printed that lovely thing. Now it's just starting to cool down. Beds drop from 60 degree to 58 degrees. Done. Oh well, it's all shut down. Got to go now. This is a return. That's the chronograph. It didn't work that we got for filming. So that's got to go back to an Amazon locker on the way home. See you guys on the next one. 3D printer's back on. Printing another one. Oh, KS S18 being prepped. It'll be fully charged. Put it back on charge when we come back in tomorrow. We don't leave them on overnight. Um, it'll be good to go to the customer. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, Tuesday. Morning. Good morning. How's it going? Yeah, great. That's all the customers' mail? Yeah, that's really good. Is it all good, is it? Yeah, that's yeah. your mail there. <laughs> customers, that's your mail. So if you're in a hurry for it, uh, choose us. <laughs> Don't choose someone else. Unfortunately, I got logged out of the Samsung Media Facebook account. And because it's registered with a phone number, which is no longer here, somewhere else, I cannot reset the password to log back in. Uh, which is really, really unfortunate. Um, so now I'm uh, a bit stuck. But at least I was able to do a short promo for the live show tomorrow where Marty is a special guest. And I managed to post that on the Speedy Feed Facebook page. On the phone to UPS. Because we don't want to pay almost 500 quid for a warranty return. And I've been on the... UPS. Daily Eight minutes so far. Forty-nine minutes. Forty-nine! That's as long as our weekly vlogs. Incredible. And it's still ringing. It has not yet been answered. But it's changed. We've been listening to the same stupid message over and over and over and over again. Forty-nine minutes. It's quite a welcome relief. I am back in the workshop and behind me you can see the monster which I've left on charge or it's, it's still charging um, so whilst I'm getting battery back in before I do the test on the batteries now I need to figure out how I can charge the the spare VTNF batteries that we have laying around so yeah I'll send that across right now yeah it'll be held in the UPS depot will it because they came today to deliver it for a second time I said please and they're gonna put it in the holding bay so presumably it won't be returned to sender no, wait, but we do attempt free delivery, so mm. you, you've got another uh, delivery attempt yet, yeah. or it goes back to the depot. Okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, if, if we can get it sorted today, hopefully, for the last attempt, there'll be no charges. Okay, cheers, thank you. Thank Thanks, you, Thanks, Bye. Bye. 58 minutes to get an answer on the phone. Three-minute conversation. One hour and one minute. 
Got to send an email as well, so not resolved yet. Hopefully, will be resolved. A waste of time. So far, I managed to find an old V10 F. At least I can charge. I just I just checked um, with the charger. So it does say that it's charging when I plug it in. So now I need to connect this battery to this board, and then I can charge that one. And then I have three more batteries that I need to charge. So that's gonna be interesting. Another problem we've got, which is customers sent loads of pictures of something he broke in an accident and wants it the part replaced. If I reply to say I am looking into this, I can't reply because it says then you can attach at most 20.5 megabytes. But I'm not attaching anything, I'm just hitting reply and there's nothing embedded within that email. I have to write support on them now and ask them how do we stop this happening. It is lunchtime and that means one thing. I need to go to the shop and buy a meal deal for Ian. M Super Pro high speed going out. Oh, it's gone green, the KSS 18, it's finally charged. I have a solution how to charge the V10F batteries, but first I need to open up the V10F and then get access to the charge port so then I can plug it into the new battery. have a battery which I believe is charging all the cables are plugged in essentially I've replaced the battery that's in inside with this one here and it's plugged in so this goes or this charges and then we can see that this is red as well so oh well, there is one battery which is charging that's good see ya I'm going out now to see if I can Say happy birthday to my 13 year old son. Oh! Shake it. So. Happy, happy birthday, Toby! Happy. Well. It's Jacob. Toby's 15. Oh! Happy <laughs> birthday, Jacob! <laughs> See ya! And I'm actually gonna then go out and ride. And I've got the Skydio here, which you can't see, but I have got it, you have to believe me. And whilst I'm waiting for the batteries to be charged, I'm back to video editing and just finishing off the first video with Mike. Oh, what's that? That's from the shoot the other day. Okay. The literal shoot. Mick Glenn then. Mickey G. Do you want a hand? Do you want a hand? Yeah. Call the AA. Come on. Okay. Get your hand on. Do a bit of a extra curricular activity. <laughs> tire feels quite flat. Hope I've got a puncture, otherwise it's going to ruin this little outing. Uh, so it's 17.5, so... Oh, I'm out here again. This is going really, really badly. This thing, I don't know what's happened to these in the last... I don't know. The last couple of months, well, they're just awful. The thing just keeps hitting trees. I mean, I'm in a nice forest following quite a wide trail, done it over and over and over again. And it just keeps crashing into stuff. I mean, at this point in time today, I would say definitely think twice before getting one of these in. And I have owned R1s, two R1s. I got two of these actually, a brand new one. I'm worried about taking it out now because I have to keep cleaning this one off, cleaning all the lenses off. Oh, it's just awful. Uh, by the way, this is the second crash of the last 15 minutes of trying to fly it um, and it loses the battery and you gotta clean it all off clean all the lenses off make sure there's no broken props Ugh. all righty oh bit of water residue but lovely okay it is getting there Nicely plastered around here. Nice. 
Look nicely done there. Looking a lot better. Should dry it quite nicely. That's why I put the back boxes in. Might have to cut out the planter then, you see, wreck it. That's pretty neat. This morning, I've got to take the RS high speed in because we've done a thousand kilometers on it. Yay, so we can move on. I've left it intentionally muddy just to show what it looks like after that sort of distance. And it is time for a speedy fit review. We finally got to the 1000 kilometers on the RS high speed. So Ian will review his or oh, the wheel and his experience and how he's get on with it. And my job is to actually set up the studio. Well, today I am taking to work with me iPad, Skydio, need that. This, because I've been told I've got to take it with me by Ruby, so I guess I have to. Nice little handbag, gonna be a problem in the live show. Unicorn in a pink bag. Then I got told I got to take a photo of me and my wife, apparently. Need that. You right, Maria? You can carry. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Oh. Oh. There's a letter under there, so. Yeah, great. Yeah. Good, isn't it? And then yeah. I got the... Yeah, this is essential. Essential? Yeah. So I'm told. And I got an RS. Because we got the thousand kilometer to do today. Review. Okay. Oh, great. So I'm going to do that now. Finally. All being well. A little bit muddy. Three crashes yesterday. Mm. One on that. One big spill on that. Didn't break it, which is good. Yeah. Three Skydio crashes. It was hopeless. Well, you have a second one. I have a second one. Yeah. Exactly. That's why that was crashing all the time. Never used to crash like that. I've never experienced anything like it. sit down on a nice comfy chair these are super comfortable it's been seven hundred as a camera angle number two and then over there we have the main camera angle another c100 we have two lights shining on Ian, and then there is one from the ceiling and there is the microphone that will pick up his voice and obviously the star of the show the rs high speed i've never actually experienced it before but when i'm logging in this keyboard, and we've got one, two, and another one at home. This keyboard is really lazy when the machine first boots up. So the first keystroke is missed. That's kind of normal as the Bluetooth connects. With this one, the first one misses, the second one misses, then you get a couple more out, and then the next one misses. Once it's done that, it works fine. Not a problem. Literally on startup, bizarre. But I'm just this one. None of the ones do it. Hey, it's Mike. Hey, hey it's Will. Hello. How's it going? Good. Yeah. Glad to hear it. So, yeah. Good combo. And after this review, Ian will start running a brand new wheel. But can you guess which one? Option number one is the Bigot EX or the RS Torque. So, which one will he choose? Put in the comments your predictions, guys. What's the time, Harry? It is tea time. Hey! Tea time. Let's have a look at the studio. Yeah, this studio's coming on. Let's have a little look. So, oh, hello. But before we go into filming the video, I need to sort out a couple of repair packages that need to be shipped to customers. So I'm just uh, adding their details uh, onto the FedEx system and then we can ship them today so that they can receive them tomorrow. And once again, it's lunch time, which can mean only one thing. Where's my lunch? Yeah, Ian is hungry. Sat at my desk, massive desk. Good on these desks. You haven't yeah. used yours yet. Mike has not used his desk. 
Too busy. He's half day Harry. Too busy. Um, so doesn't really sit down on it. Too busy. And his chair's been used for the first time by his son. So, yeah. but we're sat here going through a long audit of the websites, and we're going through, picking it apart. I'm going to try and implement and the changes. Real positive feedbacks. <laughs> This guy here will give the most negative feedback possible and think that anyone that's writing anything about it is attacking him. And so he'll be like, oh, sorry, sorry, I don't want to do that. So I've got to put up with this now for the next couple of minutes. A couple of minutes? I'm planning to be here all day. Brilliant. Because this is actually is an attack on the site, which is good. It's what you want. It's been stripped apart to pieces and then insulted. <laughs> yeah. All years of this work, hard is, work, <laughs> ripped apart in front of our very eyes. Not very good. It's terrible. Who on earth has done this? What idiots have done this? <laughs> you don't this? know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing now. So, yeah, I'm going live in an hour and a half, two hours-ish. Hmm. Well, you're not. Once I get the MacBook, because I have the MacBook at home, so I need to go and go back and get it so we can use it to do the Zoom call. You see why we go wrong for the last 12 years, don't you? Yeah. Don't use the MacBook anymore. I've got the iMac, so I just get shoved under here, so I thought I'll take it home. Turns out I need it on Wednesdays. I forgot it last Wednesday as well. Hmm. We just had the live show, loads and loads of technical issues. So it wiped me out slightly, just a little bit. That much, about that much. So, yeah. Gonna try and make a backups for backups for next time. So when Zoom decides it's not gonna work for the first time since lockdown, that's when everyone first heard about Zoom. Um, it's always worked really well. Decided, nah, it's not gonna this time. And then Facebook Messenger, decides that you actually need a separate plug-in thing for the Mac. You download it as like an app and then you open it up and then that doesn't work either, but there's a setting there we changed. That didn't work. And then the Mac decided that when I was going to take questions for my, what it decided to do was go, nah, you're not going to be able to close or open anything now. So stuff you. And that's what it did. Little rainbow going around, around which is never done before. So we had that. Yeah. And then this GoPro itself recording the things I'm telling you now about the technical issues itself decided to corrupt the file that Mary just recorded. So it's going quite well so far. So yeah, you just need, every time you've got a GoPro Hero 9, you need a couple as a backup. So just spend like a grand on GoPros. Get a couple of those, get a couple of MacBooks, couple of Sling Studios to do the live feeds, couple of internet connections. And you should be all right to do things live. If it's not live, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? You just go back and edit it again. But with live, it's like, it's got to work right now. Two tires going out, Sherman ones. Mara's off. See you, Mars. Farewell. Farewell, farewell. Adios. Bye, love you. Arrivederci. Beso mi culo. Uh, no, I think that means kiss my bum. <laughs> See ya. Oh, that's it. Today is Done. Quarter past six. I'm gonna rush off. Time to go. Woo! Ah, oh, it's raining outside. Great. See you guys tomorrow. This morning I am going early. So I can take the motorhome, which has been parked outside for about a year, outside Speedy Feet, HQ. I'm gonna go and take it and needs to have some bodywork done on it, a little bit, and also a service. And driving it over to where I parked it up two weeks ago, the engine management light came on. So I need to go and get that seen as well during the service. So going to the body shop and next door is a, um, a garage which is pretty handy. Woohoo! Here. Because I need to drop off the office heater. For one, get the uh, RS. Because once I've dropped the, once I've dropped the motor home off, it's a very useful tool, electric unicycles, for riding back from a garage. It's only about a mile. But nonetheless, very useful and saves walking. Oh, of course not. And this is what's good about these hoovers. This is in here somewhere, just cleaning away. 
Look at it. How cool is that? I'm actually going to take the, uh, the V8F. That's what I'm going to do. Good morning guys, it is a Thursday and I'm back in the workshop and now I need to get on with, with checking the monster and the voltage of the batteries um, and so far I managed to um, charge some of the, um, well I think one of the extra V10F batteries so I've put the second one out to charge and I think if I'm correct there are two or three more that also need to be charged but at least I have that sorted. So yeah, now I'm off to the monster. How's it going? Yeah, not bad. Loving it? Loving it, loving it, loving it. Loving it like that. Like. Big mouse? Oh. Alright, this video. It's Big Will. Hello. With his hat. Awesome hat. I need one of them. Here we've got two Sherman tyres. And then, funny enough, we got another Sherman tyre. And another Sherman tyre, <laughs> since about 7 o'clock last night. <sighs> Brilliant. There's a shortage apparently of those tyres, 262s or whatever they're called. Is it 262? The Kenders. We happen to have them in stock. Now only got one left. The Monster is still charging, but I need to go and finish the RS video. So I think, yeah, by the end of today, the video should be live on the channel. <laughs> This here um, should have been a replacement 360i. And they swapped it out with only one and swapped out the broken one with a brand new one. Well, I gave them £99 because Dyson seemed to do a service thing £79 to £99. And so the silver one was unfixable. So they said, We'll give you a new one. I thought they meant a new 360i. They said, Do you want to pay 99 quid? I was like, Yes, please, considering those were three, four years old. Um, so I said I'll have a brand new one for £99 and then they took a week so I wrote to them and said what's going on with it and they said oh sorry about that I forgot all about it we'll knock off 20 quid so £79 and then they sent a heurist exciting isn't it battery operated just like unicycles except when you can't ride this no. snap snap Dragon. I've been sitting down for quite a long time now video editing this week's vlog but I have another task which is to collect some of the camera equipment uh, and just pack it up because Ian needs it for tomorrow uh, so that's gonna be a ni nice activity that just changes changes your day a little bit because if you're doing the same task for a long period of time this get a bit tedious and here you can see a really nice live stream setup all packed up it is nice as long as you have internet and electricity there is electricity here in the forest but not so much internet all right it's 20 to 7 and the thousand kilometer rs high speed video final review has just gone live so I just push the live button that's done finally um, having issues linking up cards to it, so the product, the clip-on mug guard, I've added it to the description below the old uh, the video, the thousand comment view video, because you can't add it as a card at the moment, which is a bit annoying. Um, and I am off. I'm off home. Got some equipment to take away, the live streaming stuff, using that out and about. So I've got a couple of bags to carry, and a load of tripods and cables and stuff like that, and I've got to get going. So I'm in a rush. See you guys tomorrow.
Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> would you like a cup of tea? I'd love a cup of tea, mate. That would be great. The day is definitely better with a uh, cup of tea. Okay, so now I can properly start the day and I'm back in the workshop because there is some stuff that I need to do. And a couple of updates. So the monster uh, from yesterday, it was all fully charged. It took ages to, to charge. And the good thing is that now I can see the battery percentage in the app because before when I connect with the app, it was just showing zero. But now I can see that it's fully charged and I measured the voltage on the batteries and they seem to be fine. Update number two is the charging on the V10F batteries. So far I managed to charge two batteries and now I've put a third one to charge but there are two more that needs to be charged so overall there will be five batteries. And the third thing is to look into the Gotway RS high speed because if you have seen the review uh, there is an issue with some of the lights so they're not working properly so I will open up the machine and then ex inspect what the, the issue is because probably it's a hardware issue maybe a connection is broken or something but I will find out very shortly I've opened the RS and just check looking at the connections they seem to be fine so now I need to try and swap the light units after some testing I think I found the culprit who is causing the light issues I have put a brand new rear light unit so now when I turn on the machine as you can see both light strips work so now i need to change the light strip but that could be a bit of work because um, i need to split the wheel in half I managed to get the broken light unit out but the thing is the LED light strip is a slightly different size so it has a bit of a angle to it while what I have here is just a straight one so I don't know if we actually have the same identical um, light strip that I can swap and I will need to check with Ian and if we don't have then actually we need to receive some from Gotway Bigot to actually get this machine properly working that is a bit unfortunate whilst I have the machine here I will try and clear the mud because when I remove the mud guard actually I saw there is quite a bit of mud um, just underneath the chassis around the wheel so I will clear that the amount of dirt and mud in this machine is absolutely ridiculous this is the the motor hollow motor that's that's interesting I had to take the motor out so that I can have an easy access under the chassis wow this is my hand for scale like it's so much mud Yeah, if you guys you go through very muddy places make sure that you clean your machine and there is actually still still more to go but you can kind of see the chassis now yeah, you can see the amount of stress that Ian has caused to this machine with this amount of mud look at this mess In the office. What's Mars up to?
whilst I was cleaning Ian's RS, um, I noticed that the third Emotion V10 battery is charged. So now I need to swap to uh, number four. Yeah, how are you? Not too bad. Good. Excellent. How's the old RS go? Look there it is. What a beautiful thing. There it is, here. Beautiful. So... What damage have you done? It was working perfectly, wasn't it? Apart from the light, so... Well, this is the light. It doesn't work. Oh. But Does it... one of them do? Does one of them do? Yeah, the other one works, Don't not this one. Oh, okay. And this was short, well, ruining the other one. Yeah. And um, I think, I don't think we have this kind of nah, stuff. we have no spare, no. Hmm, fix this one then, I guess. Now we'll be filming the intro for the EX, so I need to set up the studio. So we just finished filming the first part of the EX um, and it's just on charge now, just topping out. Whilst I'm there I'm thinking, might as well open up this second Skydio drone. I'd like to get both filming at the same time, but if nothing else we do need to get it charged up because the batteries won't be any good if we don't. Got it, I broke in. Pack the mainframe. Wow, it's, got, it's not badly packed really, got the spare ones in here. There she is, she's brand new, ready to smash. Shame about that. Got the wrong type of connector in there because that's what they do to us around here. They're not supposed to be selling it, you see. So we bought it in the US. Remove and discard the battery. So just take the battery out, throw that away. <laughs> not really, they mean the outer wrapping. Got you, tricked you all. Oh, that does need charging it. That doesn't feel as nice as the other ones. Yeah, it doesn't feel as good. They've changed something since. It just feels, you'll probably hear it. Different. Yeah, it just doesn't feel, still got the rubber on the bottom of it though, so that's good. This is Mario just finishing up the vlog. He says he's finishing up, so yeah. Well, I ordered those lights there, uh, nine of them, to go in the garage, and the electrician has just written to me, because he said, which lights did you buy? I sent the link across to him, and he said, good job, I switched them into three banks, so three switches, so we got nine in total, three, three, three. There will be enough light for an operating theatre with them all on, which made me chuckle. So it might be quite bright in there, but it's good, so if we're filming, um, doing anything there, taking photos of products and stuff like that, It'll be all right. And on that bright note, we end this week's vlog. And we'll see you next week. Next, I've already just, just come off the phone. There's gonna be a carpet fitted into that garage and I come in and measure up possibly on Monday. He's gonna give me 30 minutes notice so I can try and get there. Um, so yes, don't forget to like and subscribe, share, etc. all those things and go to electricpeople.org and join the community. See you on Monday.